Hey everyone, Zionic here. Today we are doing a pretty cool DIY build using a keyboard bell 3D printed case and doing an O-ring mount mod to give the keyboard some flex and a lighter feel. The case itself is really solid and looks a lot like the IBM Kiss Shaver, which is one of the highest compliments you can give to a design. For plates, I used a PC plate to go along with the bounciness and flex of the O-ring mod that we're going to be doing. As for case foam, I just decided to get some EVA foam and then trace it and cut it out myself. It's a really simple mod that anyone can do, but it goes a long way in dampening the hollowness of many cases. So to do the DIY burger mounting, you're going to need silicon o-rings, and they're going to be in the description. I want to give a quick shout out to the channel keyboard for the original tutorial on how to do this mod. It's a really cool video and you should check it out. So for my mod, I just put o-rings on the standoffs of the PCB, and that's to cushion any flex that the PCB will have. Now the main part of the mod is simply just putting o-rings on the standoff screws and this is what adds the bounciness and flex as you'll see here. It's hard to tell from the video but this does add significant flex. For the switches, in keeping with the spirit of having everything be light and bouncy, I switched from 67 gram springs down to 56. At this point in recording, I got a mysterious package in the mail, so I decided to open it. Although I hadn't planned on using plate foam, since it arrived, I decided I might as well. I also used equals screw and stabs since I like their aesthetic and I've used them before. They are pretty great stabs. I only had a, the glorious lube on hand so I essentially ended up using that for everything but it actually turned out surprisingly good. At this point, everything looks so nice together that it was almost a shame to think about covering it all up with keycaps. But honestly, I feel that way most of the time after I'm done building the base of the keyboard. I can almost never get a really good shot of soldering, so I tried my best here by taking two different types of shots. At this point, I've soldered a few boards, but I still feel relatively new, and it takes a little while to get into the groove once you start soldering. During this, I probably inhaled about a chimney of lead smoke. Definitely not the best time. But soldering is sort of hypnotic, and I feel like I'm gonna be doing it for a long time. This is honestly my favorite part, just testing to see if all my work actually paid off and everything is in working order. Now, this is the part where it all comes together. We're going to be doing the burger mounts 
And here we're just putting the O-rings on all the standoffs. We're then going to be doing what was shown earlier, which is putting the standoff screws onto the PCB with the O-rings on them and then dropping it right in as carefully and slowly as we can. I use this little tool to lower the PCB into the keyboard case just so that I don't move any of the gaskets around that are on top of the standoffs. So as we all know, the worst part of this hobby is waiting for keycaps from group buys. So I just decided to buy the cheapest set I could find on AliExpress that still seemed relatively good. They're definitely thinner than my GMKs, but what can you expect for $30? They actually look really good and feel really good, so there's nothing really wrong with them. So, you've made it to the end of the video. I just want to say thanks for watching and if you liked, you know, subscribe if you wish. If not, I will see you on the next video. Have a good night everyone. Peace.